A lot of outlets have scrambled for some reason to rebut the notion that there's been a crime wave in Sweden. Vox asserts that concerns about migrant crime reflected, I'm quoting now, a long history of sexual panics in the West about non-white immigrants. Is it that simple, though? Is concern about immigration in Sweden really just about white racism? Well, until last month, Azita Raji was the U.S. ambassador to Sweden, and she joins us now for some perspective. Ambassador, thanks a lot for coming on. Thanks so much for having me, Tucker. So uh, it seems uh, we've just been talking about what the actual crime numbers are, and I don't know if we're really going to get to the truth of it, but it seems does seem clear to me that there is legitimate concern about it in Sweden, whether or not the average person feels free to express that. And one of the ways we know that is because the government itself said recently, wow, you know, too many people are coming into this country and there's a social cost to this. If the wave of refugees and immigrants wasn't a problem, why would they throw, slow it down as they have? Mm-hmm. Well, thank you. Uh, Tucker, you know, I, I'm here for two reasons. One is that I think f- um, facts matter. Fact, uh, people ma- make decisions based on what they believe to be true, and those decisions have consequences now more than ever when there is so much misinformation. And we have a president that uh, uh, takes advantage of a wide range of uh, resources, and you should be privileged to be one of them uh, in uh, giving him information to make important policy decisions for our country. So it's really important, and and I appreciate the opportunity to have this dialogue with you. Um, I saw your show earlier, and I thought it was great when you talked about uh, that we need to move uh, beyond, let's say, that you mentioned the personality of the president or the tweets, and we need to talk about the core issues, and we need to figure out how to have a lot of people come here and how to have them invested in our country. I, I thought exactly. those were really great questions. So um, I think that, you know, what's really interesting to me, you had some great guests and the Swedish uh, journalists that you had. I think she got in the details of these statistics enough that I, that I really want to say I can certainly get into the weeds on this with you. For the last two years, I've been steeped in this very much. I've seen uh, statistics and reports and um, and numbers. And um, I would just point out that uh, none of what I have seen uh, backs up the claims that Mr. Horowitz uh, has made in, in the interview that he had with you. And I watched it twice. And I tried to listen for specific evidence uh, or sources that he would state. And I didn't hear that. Perhaps I missed it. But it seemed to me that well, it no, was I don't, more I don't anecdotal. Think you, I don't think you did. Uh, no, actually, he gave statistics from the Swedish National Council, which I think is part of the Ministry of Justice there. Unless not I'm this one. I'm it. talking about the earlier. I'm talking about okay, the but, earlier but, but interviews just from gave which the president. That suggested there's been an absolute rise in reported crimes, right. in arrests. And these rape right. stats are real. And I know people said, well, that's because somehow the women are including rapes from before. OK, maybe that's true. I'm not an mm-hmm. expert in Swedish crime stats, but the well, overall crimes you, you have know, gone up 1.5 million in a year. Well, I don't think it's for me to talk. You know, I think we can sit here and talk about Swedish rape stats. And if, as your guest just pointed out, I think that one of the reasons, and I'm not an expert on Swedish rape stats, but I do know that a lot of the statistics and the crime rate has not skyrocketed, has, that has, as has been claimed. Okay. And one of the reasons, among many, that the, those rape stats may be high, again, I'm not an authority on that, is because it's Sweden encourages um, people to okay. come forward. Okay, but, but it's let not me just, move on but from on, that for a minute. Sorry, you because just said I think that, that, that I'm, no, I'm sorry, Ambassador, I don't want you to filibuster. You just said that facts matter, and so I just threw out that the crime, yes. the overall crime rate has gone up 1.5 million crimes in a year. Now, maybe that has nothing to do mm-hmm. with the refugees flooding into the country, but the truth remains that the government, the prime minister, have said point blank, it's just too many people, we can't handle it. And so I wonder okay, why it's so good. controversial That's for Americans question. to note yeah. that this is a problem when the Swedish government is it. saying that. Absolutely. So you nailed this right now. So that's what I want to get to, because why it's really interesting to me that for the last two days, we've been talking about Sweden and we're talking about this. And I think what the real conversation is, what we're really saying, this is a conversation about security. It's about fear and it's about misunderstanding and it's about us. And we are talking about Sweden because what we're really talking about is, could this happen to us? And I can tell you that Sweden ha- takes care of Sweden is a wonderful country. It's it's I can go on about it ranks highest okay, in no, I, industrial I company, all okay. that. OK, and they have their challenges and they, they have taken a lot of people and they're dealing with the challenges. But that does not mean that that is somehow related to migrants. When you take so many people, you know, we're never going to be Sweden. Sweden has taken about 200,000 people. Hold on. Over the last three years, proportion to our population, if we were to take that many people, we would have taken six to seven million okay, refugees but, okay, in this country. I get country. it, but hold on. We, this is, that I'm getting, model I'm running is out not, of patience a tiny bit, the, Ambassador, the, because the you're not getting us. to the, the core of How it here, is this which gonna, is... Why, what does this have to do with us, is what I'm saying. Even if what everybody's saying, that the sensationalism is okay. true, 
about Sweden, uh, crime, here's skyrocketing. Here's what it has to do with us, because the what? left in Sweden and the United States has exactly the same response, which is anybody who has any qualm about this, A, better shut up. In Sweden, you can face prosecution. Or B, is simply just a racist. You're a bigot if you don't like it. And my point is, there are real reasons not to like it. You don't have to be a bigot not to like it. There are social costs and economic costs to this. And nobody on the left wants to admit it. And I don't know why. It's very patronizing and it's very annoying to have well, to lie again, would, in order to meet I some standards. I would address that. Again, when Mr. Horowitz was having that interview with you initially, he was saying, well, many people are saying this, or I went to some swanky party and people were yelling at me. Let me tell you one thing that actually made me crack up a little bit. That is suspicious to me. Swedes don't yell, particularly in swanky parties. Uh, then, so then, I don't know I'm where he's getting time, his information. I'll, I'll answer this. The Sweden Democrat, the, the, the party that was considered so right wing and fringe 10 years ago is now vying for second place. Its support has doubled but Tucker, in the past two my years. Point Why to you is, is that? You want to talk about core issue. This is another country. We're talking about the politics and the demographics and the challenges of another country. Why are we talking about any other country? Why are we talking about Sweden? We what can does this talk have to about do with France. Us? First we of can all, talk about Germany or Belgium or Great Britain. Could, I mean, it's all of a piece, what obviously. You know, it's obvious when I was in Sweden, it's a template for what's happening here. That's why, as okay, you all know, and, that's and most what I'm voters to do. Say. Well, that's what I started out by saying. Let's talk about the core issues. We're talking about this because we think it has something to do with us. Okay, I'm it sorry. I'm, we are out of time, and I wish we'd gotten more to the points here, Ambassador, but I appreciate your expertise in coming on tonight. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Thank you.